Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Colin Jay. As you can see, Jay and I are here in the canoe on a little afternoon yo-yo mission. And uh, we're gonna try to catch some big crappie. It's finally spring, the water temps are warm, the crappie are thinking about moving up and spawning on the banks, but they stop on these trees along the way and just kind of post up and hopefully want to post up. We've got some minnows here. And uh, eat this minnow I'm about to put on the yo-yo. Okay, let's get this thing set in the water. And uh, once I get this in here, that looks good. Right now it's just Jay and I out here baiting the yo-yos up. Get them set. We got about an hour before the sun goes down, but uh, later our buddies will come out here and help us run them. We got about 40 set out, and uh, we're expecting big things tonight. We're expecting some big slab crappie, okay? Last time we did this, we caught mainly catfish, but I'm feeling it. I think Jay's feeling it. You feeling it, Jay? I'm feeling it. Hi, guys. Yeah, there's Jay. Jay's behind <laughs> the camera right now. She's fixing to bait this next yo yo because she's got to get her hands dirty. But uh, we're gonna get the slash yo yo baited. Jay's gonna do it, and then we're gonna head back to the house, and we will see you guys back out here when we come out here and check them. One. one just went off. It's a big one. Oh, oh baby. Oh my gosh. What is that? It's a large one. We got one. We got one. Big oh my gosh. That's a big one. Big one. Big one. Oh, what is it? What do you think it is? What's your guess? Large mouth. Large mouth? Yeah, it's a large mouth. Oh gosh. Large mouth. Dang. A three pounder. A three pounder. <laughs> Woo! Dang, son. Look how big that large mouth is. Now, if only we yeah. catch a crappie that big. <laughs> That's the goal to catch a crappie that big. He's barely hooked. Hey, I'm glad we were out here whenever that fish popped off because I would have hated to come out here and see his large mouth out here struggling on the show yo. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. That's probably three and a half pounds. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Big old fish. But like I said, glad we were out here when this fish popped off so we can let it go. I wanted that minnow. And we gotta get a catfish or a crappie this big. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get it back in the water. Get one good shot of that. That fish is beautiful. Look how green it is. Those golden yellow fins with the sunshine through them. Awesome. Awesome fish. Okay, let's get it back in the water. Sport yo-yo fishing. How about that? Back in the bush. All right, I guess we need to rebait it. We were almost done getting the yo-yo set up. About to head in and that one popped off. Okay, we have all of our lines baited and now we're gonna go back in and wait a little while, let them set for a little while, and hopefully we're gonna catch a big mess of crappie. But while we're waiting, our buddy Hunter's gonna be coming over and word on the street is he's bringing us a pizza. And some crazy bread. And some crazy bread. <laughs> so we're stoked. We're gonna fill our bellies up. Hopefully some crappie fill their bellies up with some minnows on some yo-yos. And then we're coming back here and run them. Hopefully get some big ones. And he's also going to be coming out and checking the lines with us. So this should be fun. Okay guys, it's finally go time. We are locked and loaded and we got our lights on. Check this out. We got a little cap light. Jason got a cap light. Uh, one of you guys out there sent these to us. I don't know if you're watching it. I don't remember exactly who it was, but if it was you, send these little cap lights. Thank you guys so much. They're awesome. They're yeah. super bright. Yeah, leave us a little comment in the comment section below if you're the one who sends these cap lights. And we have our little chargeable RJ 3000s. There's one. Of these, there's kind of these little jank, <laughs> jank gimmicky spotlights, but they work pretty good. But anyways. We're gonna take our lights, we're gonna go out in the canoe, and we're gonna see if we got some fish. Hopefully we got some. Hopefully we're able to film it good since yeah. it's gonna be dark. We're, we're gonna do our best. We're gonna do our best. Let's go get some big ends. We got a net. We're gonna be gonna scope some big ends out. And we got Hunter. And we got Hunter. Say hey. Hi guys. Hey. Hi. <laughs> we got a fish, guys. It's like our fifth yo-yo we checked. Looks like a nice crappie. That is looking nice one, doesn't it? Yeah. Look at that, guys. First crappie of the night. Jason, go get it. That's a good one. Sling him up. 
Oh Ooh. yeah, look at that Yay. one. That's a slab. Oh baby. That's a slab crappie right there. <laughs> nice fish, Jay. Unfortunately, your boy here forgot the minnow, so we can't rebait him. Ooh. Here, let me see him. That's a slab right there. I'm gonna have to go back and get the minnows and rebate yep. these in a second, but that's all right. That's awesome. Yep, throw them in the boat. Nice one. That's another nice one. Let's get, the, oh, come on, here we go. I almost, I almost got him on there. Get him, Jay. Woohoo! Nice. Show him to me. Yeah. It's another keeper, it's another good one. Him got this tree a little bit. Nice can fish. You see him? Yeah, I can see him. That's a beautiful fish. Number two. Number two. Number two, baby. We're doing Man, big things. It sucks I can't rebate it. <laughs> right now. Well, we will. We will rebate it. Oh, oh gosh. Oh no. No, I just got bit. Guys, you just missed the grab on this snake. We were paddling back. We grabbed the minnows that we forgot. And as we were paddling we past this grass mat, and I saw this beautiful big Mississippi green. Uh, water snake hanging out on top of it. He's kind of got this really kind of rusty colored. Is he rusty colored, Jay, or was it just me? Can oh, you tell? Yeah, he's rusty colored. He was cool looking. He's big. He's missing the tip of his tail. But he's a beautiful snake. We haven't seen any this big yet this spring. They've all been small. And he was out here hunting the fish. There's so many little fish hanging around these grass mats. And uh, we're hoping that uh, we'll uncover a couple more cool snakes while we're running these lines tonight. The lake is alive. It's warm. It's springtime. And you know we couldn't go out here running yo-yos without uncovering at least one snake and showing it to you guys. But I'm gonna put this guy back in the water, let him slither off. Awesome snake. He just barely tagged me, look at that. You see that? Oh yeah. He just barely tagged me, he probably put one little tooth in me. See guys, I'm not the only one who gets bit. Hey, I was trying to paddle <laughs> and control the boat and get everything situated. Man, it's a pretty snake, he's so rusty. Yeah. Okay. It's beautiful. Here we go, okay. put you in the water. He's gone. Woo. We kind of drift away from the grass map, but he'll find it. Okay, let's go catch some crappie. What are you doing, man? You're not a crappie. Oh, this is down in the water. That's good. Oh, he's fighting. That's our second bass of the day. Look at that. He's ticked. Okay, Jake, go ahead and get him. He said, I am not yo-yo material. <laughs> Where's the hook at? That's a big one. Nice one. Dang gum. Wow. I didn't think it was that big. I didn't either. Dang. He I said it person. was a pound. Oh, that's a two and a half pounder. Look at the belly. Yeah, another big old female. All right, little dude. We are not keeping this. We're fish. not going to keep you. We're going to let you go. Tell your crop buds to come hang out. All right, send him. Bye. Saw a snake. Saw a snake. I caught a snake. Mm. You saw a snake, bud? I did. Hunter stayed out here and guarded all the yo-yos with his life while we went and got the minnows. Fought off an anaconda. He fought off an anaconda. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but now you got to get to baiting our yo-yos up. Yes, yeah, do. Let's do it. Ah, we just got our third fish. Come here. Another nice, nice little one. slab black crappie. Oh, he's warm. Gosh, that fish is so warm. It's starting to get kind of cool out here. Wow. All right, it's been slow, to be honest with you guys. This is only our third crappie. We've got the two bass, three crappie, and the yellow bullhead. And hey, we're going to keep grinding it, though. We got all the lines rebated. Got to bait this one back up, and then hopefully we'll come back out here and catch a couple more nice crappie. Go ahead and get this one rebated. Hooking him right in the back tonight. And we're sitting in the middle, it's about two feet below the water. Do your thing, dude. Okay, let's get some. While we are waiting on the yo-yos to set off, Hunter has decided to grace us with some of his awesome firewood and his awesome fire making methods. Got this Walmart special fire starter. <laughs> fire starting liquid. <laughs> oh man. Do not try this at home. Oh man. <laughs> Dang, son. That escalated quickly. So you start a fire. Hunter said it's the only way to start a fire. I, there is I, didn't, no other way. I didn't disagree with him, but I don't normally do gas fires.
Okay, we're on our final run of the night, about picking up all our yo-yos, and uh, we stopped at this yo-yo. This is the one we caught our big bass on. That's a big old bullhead. Ooh, Holy crap. Yeah, it is. Look how big that sucker is. This yeah. is the same tree that we caught that uh, that big largemouth on earlier. Must be a lucky tree. Look at how yellow he is. He is really yellow. Oh, wow, that dude is huge. <laughs> That's a big old bullhead, but I guess we're letting bullheads go tonight. That's fine. We'll throw them back. I can't see. Probably so. Got him? Oh man, look at the size of that channel. Woo! Dang. Nice one. It's a really nice channel cat. Finally got ourselves another good eating fish. Wow, that's like a four pounder. Apparently hooked. Gosh, it just popped right out, didn't it? That's how we like using <laughs> wow, the net on these guys. look at him. Nice fish. We're keeping that one tonight, right? Definitely keeping this one. Awesome, okay, throw him in the boat. Gotta keep Mr. Whiskers. It's got big old whiskers. Look at big old these whiskers are. All right, awesome. That's it, guys. Calling it a night. We only got that one channel cat and that mud cat. It's slow, so slow. All right, gang. We just made it back home to the house, and it is 12:30 a.m. I think it's 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. now. Scratch that. It's 1 a.m. We started. We started sitting out yo-yos at 6 o'clock p.m. And uh, to be honest with you guys, well, as you guys saw, the, the bite was really, really slow. We didn't really, we didn't really accomplish very much this afternoon. But, but we at had least a, we caught some. Yeah, we caught some, and we had a great afternoon hangout with Hunter. And I mean, we caught those three crappie, those two bass, caught those two good bass, and then channel cat, one channel cat, and two bullheads, but, and a snake, and a snake. But we, I mean, but we had 40 yo-yos out. <laughs> and we had them live with minnows, and a lot of the videos when we took them down just now had a bunch. They all had minnows on them, so the fish is just—I don't know what they're doing. Maybe it's the full moon. I figured the full moon would get them biting, but I guess it didn't. But anyways, like like I said, we had a good time running yo-yos tonight. Hopefully, we'll do better next time. I don't think we could do any worse. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? So I'm out here fishing, and I have stumbled upon a really intense crappie bite. So I'm propped up against this wall. There's some deep water here next to me, and uh, I just decided to toss a couple of little jigs out here and I've been getting bit almost every single cast. I've got a chartreuse little tube up here. I've got a little monkey milk two inch grub there. I'm using the seven foot six inch medium um, ACC crappie sticks. Got 10 pound braid to an eight pound monofilament leader. And um, if everything goes according to plan, I should catch one here on this cast. So the reason why I think all these fish are stacked up here is because it's very sunny out and it's warm and this is casting like a shade line and they're just like right, oh, that was a big one. Oh my God. They're up against this wall getting in the shade. I'm also seeing a bunch of shad flickering around. Dang, that was a really good bite, guys. Oh man. Okay, let's see if we can get one right here. There he is. It's every cast, guys. This is insane. Good ones too. Good ones. Good ones. Get up here. <laughs> Yeah, flip them in the boat. Really solid 11 inch white crappie on the grub. I have like 10 or so already on my string. I'm gonna add him on there. We're just gonna keep casting, see how many we can get. This is so crazy. I am jacked. Okay, we got that one on there. I might have more than 10. I'll show you guys the stringer here in a minute, but let's focus on catching some of these fish while they're fired up. Because they could stop biting or I could catch them all. I don't know how many, I don't, I don't know how many are under there. But the water goes pretty far up underneath this wall. We got this good shape line. It's every cast. That's a smaller one. In the boat. Ooh. He's borderline, but he's gonna be a little too small. He's probably like a eight and a half inch, nine inch crappie. He's smoked it though. Look there, probably about a nine incher. I think the size limit out here is 10 inches. I'm just gonna keep 10 inches just to be safe. But no nice little black crappie. They're mixed. Get your white crappie and black crappie under here. So all I'm doing is I'm letting my bait sink all the way down the bottom. And then I'm just very slowly reeling it right back to me. And it's every cast, as you can see, off the bottom. That's another keeper. Another keeper. Get up here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's every freaking cast, guys. It's insane. I have not been on a crappie like this in quite some time, and I am loving it. Look at that. Nice black crappie. 11 inch fish. Woo. Gotta love that. I really wish I had a bucket so I could just throw them in the bucket. But let me show you guys a stringer. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at all these crappie I've already caught so far. The limit's 30, so there's a good chance that we could get a whole limit of crappie on the stringer before the day is over.
I'm honestly surprised I haven't caught two yet. It's gonna happen, I think. There's so many down there, I think. <laughs> unreal. It's unreal. Unreal. Another nice one. He's gonna be borderline. Let's put him on a crappie checker. Let's see how big he is. I think he's he's, he's probably gonna touch right at 10. Not let him go though. A little crappie checker. That is a ten and a half incher. Ten and a half incher, guys. This is like my favorite size crappie to eat. Ten and a half to twelve inches, or ten to twelve inches. My favorite size crappie to eat. This is just so crazy. And I really love how it's just like right here in front of me. It's just. You know, pitching out 15 feet from the bank, or from my boat. And I'm really just letting the bait just kind of just pendulum back to me. It's not really getting all the way to the bottom sometimes. Just barely creeping it, just twitching it. And it just loads up. <laughs> Come here. I love swinging in the kayak like that. And then you're just gobbling it. Look at that. It's choked. It's gone. Down his face. It's gotten to the point now, guys, where I would be surprised if I made a cast and I didn't get a bite. I would start to get nervous. Here we go. Big and big and big and big and big and get up here. <laughs> Man, they're getting, they're getting to where they're biting it right next to the boat now. And I think they're just kind of just swimming in circles right underneath this little floating thing. Or it's not really a floating thing, it's just a concrete slab structure where the water's able to go up underneath it. Another solid black crappie. He bit the chartreuse jig. I love having a chartreuse and a pearl. I learned just to kind of give them two different looks. They can decide which color they want. That's fantastic. Just another nice slab crappie. I'm using relatively light jig heads here. I'm using a 16th ounce on top and I have a 32nd down there on the bottom. Um, I like the jigs to be light. I can reel the bait real slow. You know, this is a small area, so I'm trying to keep my bait in the strike zone as long as possible. And it's just a little bit more natural. If you have a heavy jig head, you have to reel it faster and um, you don't get to soak your bait in that strike zone as long as you would if I had a lighter jig head. Um, I can honestly probably go down to like 230 seconds, um, but the wind's kind of blowing and I kind of lose control of that. So 16th and 32nd is obviously working. <laughs> oh, 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 big one. Is that a crappie? Slab. Freaking slab. Get up here. <laughs> I got lucky that time. Most of the time when you drop your crappie in the kayak, they fall off out the side. But that is another nice one, another nice white crappie. I think we've got evenly mixed fish. I think half the fish on there are white and half the fish on there are black. That is awesome. Look at that. Woo. There we go. There's one. There's one. Come here. Oh yeah, another keeper. <laughs> the bite, I feel like it's starting to die on me. I think that um, there's still some fish there, but I think they might be getting used to my jigs or maybe they're kind of swirled up a little bit further back where they're not on the edge looking out to eat something. But either way, we're going to keep casting at them and uh, we're going to see if we can keep catching them. I might change up my plastics, my colors, my little combination of baits here, here in a second. He choked it though. Love that. Love that slab white crappie. All right, so I'm going to try this little bonehead minnow plastic suspended underneath a bobber. Still got my double jig rig handy, but we're just gonna see if we can suspend this guy right next to this edge and if we can get some fish to come out. Just to kind of let me know if there's even any more fish there left. That looks good, looks tantalizing enough to me. I'd eat it. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> First cast bobber up to the bobber. I knew it would work. We went about 10 minutes or so without getting a bite on the double jig rig and all it took was a little bit of enticing a little bait change that little bonehead minnow is deadly you've seen us catch a lot of fish with this thing in the last few months and that's a good one that's one of the bigger ones we've caught today just the same spot where i'm getting bit just letting it sit there just letting it just suspend and letting them have an opportunity to come out and eat it that's awesome all right so the wind's really jagging with my boat position so i'm having to <laughs> reach over and grab a hold of the wall and keep adjusting my kayak so it's kind of nice that I'm able to, you know, pause my presentation and just let my bait just sit there and suspend. Just trying to work it real slow. Just mainly just let it sit there, let it rock around in the wind and the waves. Just let that bait jiggle. That bait looks really good. It sits horizontal in the water column. Looks just like a little minnow. Just wanting to get eaten by a big old crappie. I, just, I told y'all, right there's the spot. I don't know what it is about that spot. It's a big one too. Big ones are loving this bait. 
Oh, that's a slap. What the heck? Whew. Oh, look how big that one is. What a chunk. I told y'all, right there. Just let it sit right there. There must be a pile on or something there, or a stick. But that is a thick one. Look at that. Little bonehead minnow in the face. Got him. Got him. Okay, let's see if we can go three for three on these bad boys. There he is. Another one. Another good one. Ooh. Oh, he might be a little short. We'll see. He's kind of a smaller guy. Oh, another keeper, 10 and a half. Big in. Big in. Big old, big old slab. Big old slab. Come here. Come to daddy. <laughs> yes. This is definitely a little bit slower paced with the uh, bobber and bonehead minnow little combination, but still getting the job done and still doing them dirty. That's another nice one. I gotta count these fish on the stringer. I mean, I've got, I'm getting close to 30. Okay, we're back on the double jig rig program. Let's see if we gave them enough time <laughs> to get fired up about this tactic again. There we go. That feels like a good one. Oh, it is a good one. It's a good one up here. Oh, yes. Yes, we're back on the double jig rig program. But what I did is I put a chartreuse. I got him good. A chartreuse, little bonehead minnow on there. That's a stud. What a slab right there, right under the boat, basically. <laughs> that is so cool. Whew, I love swapping it up on him. I think that I've just about pulled every crappie off of this structure. There could be some pushed way up underneath there, but I'm not able to really reach those guys. I tried skipping my jig up under there, but there's just not enough clearance between the water and the bottom of this structure um, to get it up under there. But nonetheless, we wore the slabs out today. Started off catching them with the double jig rig, then we swapped to a bobber, and then back to the double jig rig, and uh, we just caught them until they wouldn't bite anymore. But uh, I've got a stringer loaded up with crappie. I think I counted 25 on there. Might be 24, somewhere in the 24, 25 range but they are just looking good. Let me pull a string up so you guys remember what I'm talking about. This thing looks crazy. Ready? Oh, gotta get prepared for this. Brace myself, here we go. Woo. Look at all of those slabs. Woo. And all of these fish are anywhere between 10 and a half. And I think my biggest one was 13 inches. I got all black crappie, black crappie. And I even got this guy here. A little black striped, black nose crappie. Really cool fish. And oh, I gotta put these down, they're so heavy. Oh. And it was just so much fun catching these guys. I hated that they quit biting, but I'm not gonna complain. I think I've probably caught 35 or 40 all together. Um, but the majority of the fish I caught were keepers, which is awesome. A lot of times when I go fishing and get on a school of fish, I'm usually, you know, weeding through 10 or 15, you know, non-keepers to get a keeper. So definitely impressed with the quality of fish today. And uh, since there's not anywhere else that I'm really wanting to try, and I feel like I've done enough damage for the day, I think I'm just gonna load these guys up and get out of here. So hope you guys enjoyed watching that little smash fest, but the video is not done because we are gonna take these guys home. We're gonna clean them. And of course, the best part about a day of crappie fishing is eating them at the end of the day. So we'll catch you guys back at the house.
Well, there she is. There is a fresh fish taco. Y'all just saw us whip up. We've got our crappie fillets. We've got avocado. We got tomato, cilantro, and we got some green sauce. Just a mm. simple, quick and dirty recipe for a delicious, quick bite to eat for lunch. Let's give it a little taste test. See how it is. Hope I'll probably make a mess. Here we go. Mmm. Delicious. Mm-hmm. Very delicious. I'm glad that the taco didn't like just disintegrate right here all over the floor. <laughs> we came in here, it's better lighting in here and I was really worried about it. I have no plate underneath me, I'm going rogue. Here, give it, give it a little taste. Mm. What you think about it? Delicious? Here we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. That feels like a crappie. It feels like a crappie. Can't tell how big he is, but feel, oh, it's a crappie, it's a crappie. It's a crappie. Come here, big guy. Come here, big guy. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off, big guy. Oh, it's a nice crappie. Nice crappie, get in the boat. Yes, sir, let's go. <sighs> Cut ourselves a crappie. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Really solid white crappie to start off the day. It's very windy out here. Wasn't really expecting there to be crappie, but he thumped just like one. There might be a school of them out there. Let's get him on the stringer and let's get back out there. Another one, another fish. Feels like another crappie. We might have another crappie on here, guys. Yep, 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 yep. It's another crappie. It's another crappie. Come here, big guy. This is so crazy. This is crazy. It looks like another 10 entry. Come on, big crappie. Come on, big crappie. Come here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Another keeper. Look at that. Another crappie, guys. This is so crazy. I don't never catch crappie out here. How about it? I'll take that all day long. It's been a while since I caught some crappie. Gosh, there's another one. Another fish. Got another fish, guys. Oh my gosh, it's another crappie. It's another freaking crappie. Another crappie. Get in the boat. Let's go. Let's freaking go. This is crazy. <laughs> another crappie. Oh my gosh, the wind is blowing so hard. It's not really ideal fit, ideal fishing conditions, but dang, the crappie are smoking these grubs. I haven't been able to fish in so long just because it's been frozen up, but we're out here and uh, we got ourselves another nice crappie. Another one, another one. He didn't thump it, just kind of loaded up. I don't know what this is. I mean, it feels like another crappie, guys. Honestly it does, it feels like another crappie. I don't understand what's going on. It's another crappie. It's another freaking crappie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Dude just loaded up on it. Didn't feel a thump or anything, but that is another slab in the boat. Let's go. That's another crappie. Freaking thumped it. Thumped it. Thumped the crap out of it. Oh, that's another, that's a big crappie. I think it's a big crappie, guys. I think it's our biggest one. It's a big crappie. He is fighting weird. He is fighting so weird. Please be a big crappie. I know he's gotta be. He's gotta be. He's gotta be a big old slab. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the boat, boat flip. Oh, yes. He's not as big as I thought he was, but he is thick. He's kind of got some thicker shoulders on him. I can't believe it. I can't believe I'm out here catching crappie right now. That's a beautiful fish too. We're gonna throw him on the stringer. It's every cast. This is getting out of hand. This is getting out of hand, guys. 
every single cast. And some are biting it on the fall, but it's like I'm letting it sink all the way down to the bottom. And then it's like a couple real handle turns and they're on there. Another nice one. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> Come on, fish. I don't know how many are out there. They are loaded. They are loaded out there. And they're all the same size, just chunky, like 10 and a half, 11 inches. I mean, they are loaded. That's insane. There we go. There we go, there's another crappie. Feels like another crappie. <laughs> Dumped in and put some slack in there. There's this pelican out there. And uh, he's like swimming in circles out there where I'm catching those crappie at. Yeah, it's another crappie. I'm just gonna ski him on in. He's a nice one, he's got that jig choked. Let's go. He there. Dude, choked that thing. Another nice black crappie. Another one, I didn't even feel the bite. That's weird, it's like I'm not even feeling the bite. I'm, I have kind of a big bow in my line because the wind's blowing. Just load it up again, I think we got another crappie. He looks like a little guy though. He's a tiny guy. It's like my first non-keeper I've caught. Yep, he's a little small. He's got some weird stuff going on with him. That's the, that's the first non-keeper I've caught. That's unreal. He's still like eight and a half inches or so. See you. Got him. Got him. Got him. Feels like another maybe small one. Can't tell how big he is. Feels pretty decent though. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see him. Let's see him. <laughs> oh yeah, another keeper. Let's go. Big boy. There we go, another keeper. money yep every time i land right there i get bit and we got another keeper on our hands here this feels like a decent one of course they're way out there so it's kind of hard to tell how big they really are because they're so far out there and they could be closer i'm just getting bit out there so i'm just gonna keep casting all the way out there you know he's just kind of spinning he really may not even be a keeper no he's a, he's a little guy huh he was just spinning just a little guy <laughs> I was hung up, <laughs> popped it off, and we got another one. Keep him down, keep him down, keep him down, keep him down. Come on, come on, big guy. Get in my boat. <laughs> Woo. That's another really solid one, guys. Big old fat slabs. Get him on the stringer. I'm running out of room on this thing. Feels decent. Well, it's a good one. Stay on there. Oh, it's a big guy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Another big old fatty on a little grub. Who would have thought? Feels like another good one. Come on up, big guy. Come on up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. A nice one. Another one. <laughs> 
another nice crappie. Get in here. Oh, he's up. He jumped. <laughs> he jumped. It's unreal how many crappie are out there. And they're all just the exact same size, just the perfect eating size. Like, this is literally my favorite size crappie to eat. 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. And just doing it. Guys, if y'all had told me yesterday that I was gonna show up to that spot and I was gonna slay a bunch of slab crappie, I would have told y'all that y'all were crazy because I don't ever catch any crappie out there. Like I've literally only caught like four or five crappie there ever. But for some reason yesterday, they were there and they were in there thick. And I'm not sure if they're gonna be there next time or not, but I'm glad that I was able to capitalize while they were. I had these fish on ice. Let me show you guys the full stringer in here. Here we go. I got a hefty stringer full of some nice slab black and white crappie. The white crappie were a little bit bigger here, the bigger ones up here on top. Just some really quality eaten sized fish. And I'm excited to clean these guys. I haven't cleaned any crappie since, I guess the fall, since around Thanksgiving. So this is gonna be <laughs> awesome. And these are gonna be great eating. I've got 28 on my stringer. I was too shy of getting my limit guys. Anyways, I'm going to get these guys off of the stringer and uh, we're gonna clean them real quick. And we'll show you guys how we do that. Look who it is, guys. <laughs> the Slab Queen is making an appearance. Yeah, the Slab Queen didn't get to go fishing today, and she's a little jelly that you caught all these crappies. Hey, it wasn't me that said you couldn't go fishing. I know. It was Baby but C. Baby it was C. his fault. It was him. It was him. But look how big he is. I know. He's massive. <laughs> he's massive. But you're planning on getting out in the water and doing some crappie fishing yes, within I'm the going. next couple days. Yes. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I'm gonna I'm gonna go tomorrow. Awesome. No matter what. <laughs> There's no stopping me. No matter what baby C says. Yeah, and if I'm having contractions, I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways. Okay, so I didn't go fishing, but I guess I'm gonna be in charge of cooking the fish today. Heck yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this right here. We have some Louisiana fish fry and we have it in a nice bowl that has a lid to it oh yeah so we're just gonna put our fillets in there the geese are getting kind of rowdy out there aren't they yeah, they are <laughs> they're excited because the lake finally thawed out <laughs> oh yeah those are some slabs now we put the lid on and we shake it 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 Look at Jay's belly. Don't look at my Look at the belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's so much fun. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay. Don't have any contractions now. I'm exhausted. It's now. not worth it to have contractions over okay. shaking fish. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew shaking fish could be so exhausting? Those look pretty good. Yeah. Pretty evenly coated, if I don't say so myself. Now what you gonna do? Now we're gonna drop them in the grease. Oh, time for the transfer. Oh, Oops, sorry. You're good. That looks hot. Let's see if it really is, though. What do you think? You think it's gonna be hot? Do a little taste. Or do a little test. Ooh. I think it's good to go. It's hot. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Look at that. These are like really good size. I know, those are, I mean, that's what I was saying. These are like, like the perfect sized eating crappie. Literally my favorite. I would rather catch a limit of those than a limit of one pounders or two pounders every any day. I mean, I say that. I'd rather catch and keep and eat these fish than keep a limit of like two pounders. Those look good, Jay. And now, oh wait, there's one more. One more. Here. Can't leave him hanging. <laughs> leave our buddy hanging. Nice. And now we wait. How long? Like three minutes. Three minutes? 
Until the fish is floating. You promise? Because I am very hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> I could barely wait three minutes. So while round one is cooking, we're going to get round two going. Because we don't want to waste no time because we are so hungry. I like that technique. <laughs> Look at this form. It's immaculate. How are you feeling about those big boss? I think they are ready. They are floating. Poke them with the forks if they're crunchy. Oh, yeah. In the fork test. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see the transfer now from there to there. Oh, mm. hold on a second. Look at that. Golden, delicious slab. It was steamy too and hot. Mmm. This be like the first day where we're eating fried fish in a while where it's not like absolutely freezing outside. I know. There we go. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Nice little dump. Round two. Round two. <laughs> Round two. You already, yeah, you already shook those. We ain't messing around. One more thing while we're on the topic of delicious fish. It has been a hot minute since we've had fried fish. It really has. It's got to, it's got to have been at least like a month and oh a half, gosh. two months. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a really long time. We've been eating healthy. We'll eat some healthy stuff with this, but you just can't pass up on some fresh, slabby little crappies. Okay, is that round three? Round three. Round three, look at all this fish. All right, we got round three going on in the deep fryer, but we are going to do the official Colin J taste test <laughs> on these fried little baby slabs here. I say baby slabs. These are slabs. These are nice sized crappie. We have about run out of daylight. We got our little our little deck light on, so we got to make this quick. Here we go. You got me a piece? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh. Eat that piece. <laughs> she she smashed sorry. it. You <laughs> smashed it. Look at my piece. I'm sorry. Look at my piece. Eat it. I'm <laughs> One, starving. One, two, three. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Look at her. Her mm. face says it all. Mm. She's a happy preggy lady. <laughs> that was fantastic. Hopefully that wasn't weird the way I ate that. It's kind of just ate it kind of like a kind of like a, like a cartoon cat eats a fish. Mm. Man, these are really good. So fresh, so clean, wild caught, all organic, non-GMO, <laughs> crappie. <laughs> the slab so good. queen knows how to cook them. Mmm, good cooking, Jay. It's so good. So <laughs> simple and so good. Hold on a second, guys. I just heard something jumping over here in the rocks. What the heck? Oh, how did this happen? Look, guys, there are some drum here on the bank. I'm not sure they got stuck here or if somebody was fishing and threw them on the bank, but this one here I think is alive. Oh, yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Not how I wanted to catch my first fish, but that fish was just stuck on the bank. Let's toss him back in the water. And there's a couple of more. I don't know what they're... This one's alive too. What the heck? Did somebody throw these on the bank? I don't know. He don't look too good. That kind of sucks. You got a big one right here. Look at this big guy. Oh yeah. He's alive. These three fish are alive. I just don't know what the issue is. I didn't see anybody else down here. Somebody could have come down here and caught these fish and threw them on the bank, or they could have just got stuck in the rocks. But either way, I'm going to put them in the water and see what happens. They're not really looking that good, but oh well, that's dumb. Well, it looks as if there are some drum here. So if we don't catch anything, we'll at least maybe catch a drum. There's a fish. Oh, it's a crappie. It's a crappie. Oh, you first fish of the day is a crappie. Heck yeah. That didn't take long. It was only like five minutes in. Bit that black and chartreuse grub. He's not a keeper, but that is awesome that the first fish we caught is a crappie and not a drum. I was kind of worried that we were going to catch much of drum after seeing those three on the bank. But hey, I will take that. How about it? First fish is a nice crappie. We'll send him back. Heck yeah. Hopefully there's more where that came from. I've got my bucket here on hand. If we uh, get into a mess of crappie, I ain't scared to throw some in there. Oh, oh, it's another crappie. What the heck? Smoked it right there at the bank. That is a dink though. Look how small this fish is. I don't think I've ever caught a crappie this small here. 
That's insane. He was right here in the rocks. Smoked it though. I mean, my line jumped. Fish on. What are you? It is a, oh, fish jump right there. This is a baby white bass. So we've officially got our second species of the day, which is nice. A little white bass. I'd like to catch one a lot bigger than that though. There we go. Oh, crappie. Good crappie. Good crappie. Get in the boat. Let's go. Woo. That's a good one. Check it out, guys. We've got ourselves our first slab crappie of the day. This is our third crappie in total, and I think we've caught, I guess, six or seven fish now. Um, I definitely think I'm gonna put this guy in the bucket to start off with. I may not catch any more like this and I might release him, but this guy would definitely be really awesome to eat for dinner tonight. So let's get the bucket filled with some water and let's see if we can catch a couple more of these guys to take home with us. Oh God, oh God, what is this? We got a big fish. Is this our drum? Is this our drum? Or is it a white bass? I think it's a drum. Here we got our first drum of the day. Because we do, <laughs> man, I only caught some smaller fish today, except for the last slab, and now we got ourselves a good looking drum. Here, let's grab him. Oh, all right. The last two fish have come on this grub right here. It's a black and blue grub of the chartreuse tail. And that is our first drum of the day. Surprising, I figured we would have caught more by now. But hey, that's all right. Nice fish, not super huge. We'd like to catch one of those that's about five or six pounds just to give me a good little fight, have some fun. We'll take it. Oh, he smoked it. He's gone. Where's he going? Where's he going? We got a big white bass? What we got? That's a drum. <laughs> well, safe to say the drum had moved in. Took off like a white bass. Another one on that black and blue grub with the chartreuse tail. I've been flipping through a bunch of grubs already today and tubes and it seems like that might be the one I like the most. The water's a little bit dark, so I like to use dark colors when the water's muddy like this, but I also have been using some like bright whites, some bright chartreuse colors, and just wasn't having that much success with them. So maybe we got something figured out now. Oh! Oh, did y'all see that? <laughs> Woo, another crappie. Dude bit right at the bank right there. Nice. That's a good fish. Oh, it's a big white bass. <laughs> Finally got a good white bass. He hit it so hard. I got excited. I thought maybe it was gonna be a big old crappie. Woo. Well, there's my first decent white bass catch of the day. It took a while to catch one this size, which is normally not the case at this location. Um, but I guess that since we're later on in the year, there's just not that many of these guys to go around. And uh, I guess we're gonna throw him back. He's kind of skinny. Sometimes I would mix them in there with the crappie, throw them in the bucket, but I'm gonna let this guy go. We'll keep the crappie instead. See you later, big guy. Get out of here. Fish coming up, kind of weird. I think it's another white bass, drum, crappie, white bass, white bass. Back to back, decent white bass. <clears throat> can't complain, can't complain. No one on that black and blue and chartreuse grub. Nice. About half the size of the last one I just caught, um, but definitely bigger than the first couple I caught. Can't complain. I would love to catch at least one more crappie. One or two more crappie would be really great. I also want to try some more spots. I want to try down there by the wall. It's not really a good crappie spot though. It's too fast of water, but it's a good spot to catch white bass and striper and drum. Also would like to try the other side. There's probably a good break over there. Um, I spent quite a bit of time here, so we'll see how much longer I fish in this spot before we make a move. I'm gonna spot a little bit longer though. I feel like I can catch one more keeper crappie here. Oh. What is this big old chumba wumba? Big old drum. Oh, this is big, big guy. I'm not using particularly heavy gear. Um, this makes it feel even bigger, but this has gotta be a good sized drum. It's definitely our biggest fish of the day, I think. 
Oh yeah, big old drum. Holy smokes, look at the size of that drum. Stay on there, guy. Stay on there. We just wanna see your beautiful little blue eyes. There you go, he's giving up. <laughs> Smoked it. Most of my catch drum near the bottom. Um, my bait was definitely like middle of the water column, so he either came up and got it or he was just chilling up there. Let's uh, let's get down here and grab you. He's fat. Look at that one, guys. That's a big one. Holy smokes. Now that right there, guys, is a really nice size drum. He's about five pounds or so. They definitely get a lot larger than this, but a good size one for here, and he put up a good fight on that light-powered rod. Whew. Let's get him back in the water. Maybe we'll catch one bigger than this, but I'm glad to have at least caught one decent-sized drum today. All right, Big Daddy. Let's get you right side up, and there he goes. <laughs> awesome. What are you? There we go, there we go, there we go, yes. Yes, 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 we got her another crappie. Woohoo! Heck yeah, guys. Got ourselves our third keeper crappie. Got him in the bucket. Let me catch one more. Let's get one more. That feels decent. Oh, it's a good crappie. That's the one we need. That's the one we need. Get up here. Yes. Oh, don't fall in the lake. Yes. I didn't even feel him bite it. it. Just loaded up and we got a good one. Check it out, guys. Got our fourth solid keeper crappie of the day. Been fishing out here for about an hour and a half, maybe closer to two hours now. Just been grinding it out, trying to get, you know, a few of these to take home. Um, we still have a little bit more time to fish, but four is a great number. It'd be like two for me, two for Jay. It'd be perfect. So I'm gonna throw this guy where he belongs here in the bucket with his buddies. And we're gonna fish in this spot just a little bit longer. And then, like I said, we're going to um, go down there by the wall. And then we might venture over to the other side just to check it out and see if we're not missing out on anything super juicy. Um, but I'm happy with the way the day's gone so far. It's been a lot of fun. Oh God, oh God. We got another drum, I think. This feels big. Oh, that's gotta be a drum, right? That feels rather large, to be honest, guys. I don't know, he's kind of fighting weird. It's gotta be a drum. It's gotta be. It's rather large, though. It's a rather large fish. I mean, I'm not moving him. I mean, he's kind of running weird. Is he snagged? Let's take it easy with this guy in case it's something different, but I think it's a drum. He is literally just sitting on the bottom right there. That is nuts. Come on up, big guy. Oh my goodness. How big is he? I don't want to put too much tension on him because he's, you know, these jig heads aren't the heaviest of duty jig heads. They got pretty good hooks on him. This dude is literally just sitting on the bottom. I, don't, I haven't had a drum fight like this in a while. What if it's a catfish? We're going to take it easy. I want to see him no matter what. If I lose him, I'll be like heartbroken. Oh, it's a catfish. Woo! I was right. I was right. It was something different. And is he, he's foul hooked. Okay, he's not a huge catfish. He's a decent channel cat, but he is indeed kind of foul hooked a little bit, I think. Woo! <laughs> Heck yeah, that guy right there is definitely gonna help the catch and cook cause. How about it? And this is exactly why I love fishing out here in the river. You never know what you're gonna catch. Any cast could yield something different. And this time we got ourselves a really nice channel cat. I knew that fish was fighting weird. It felt strange from the beginning. Um, this is an awesome fish and it's definitely gonna help out the catch and cook cause. Uh, this is gonna be great eating. I'm gonna throw them in the bucket with those crappie and we're gonna keep on fishing for a little bit longer. Heck yeah. Okay, as promised, we're down here by the wall. And first cast, literally, I didn't even turn my GoPro on. I'm hooked up with the fish. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's a drum. It's a drum. He's fighting a lot harder than the other ones down there. I guess they have to since they're in this fast current. It's literally the first cast down this wall. We got a drum. He's darker color too. There you go. That's a decent one. I mean, literally, we are right next to this wall. And I need to get a hold of him a little bit differently. There we go. And my, uh, my bottom jig is about to hook me in the hand. We'll send him back. Let's see if we can get another one. 
I'm thinking like this spot right here, I have a good chance of maybe catching a bigger white bass or like a striper or something. Crappie aren't completely out of the question. Like this is a good little break right here in front of me, but overall this water is a little bit too fast for crappie. That was literally my first cast down here. Is that a fish? It's moving. It's moving. Is this a fish? Yeah, this is a fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. That felt so weird. It's gotta be another drum. But I don't know for sure. I literally couldn't tell I had a fish because it was in the current. He was just swimming weird. Did I snag it? I did. Man, I'm a snag daddy today. That was so weird. My rod just loaded up and we've got ourselves another drum. We are two for two on drum in this spot. Dang, these things are fighting hard though in this current. Let's get another one. We'll see how long this lasts. If we're just catching drum, we're probably gonna have to have to bounce out of here. But I am curious to see if there's anything else lurking next to this wall. I mean, you can see how fast this current is ripping. Just everything that's out here is getting pushed right against the wall. And then there's a little bit of a break line right next to it. And that just positions the fish right up beside it. And there's also some rocks down there too. Oh, sh not kidding guys, look at that. Another fish. And this one might be snagged too. Because it is. And that's a shad. <laughs> telling you everything gets pushed up against the wall this is a great place for a big predator fish to get right next to it and eat these shad or just whatever's getting pushed up against the wall that was weird all right let's try to catch one more fish i don't really care what it is we've been out here about about three hours now um it's actually getting pretty hot and there's a lot of heat coming off this wall <laughs> and it's just about time for me to get back home to jay baby c oh see what they're up to and uh, we gotta get these fish cleaned up too that we have in the bucket. We need one more fish though. One more. We gotta end it on a fish. We've had a good day. We need some last cast magic. There we go. There we go. There's our fish. I think it's a white bass. Be awesome to end on a nice big old fat white bass. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> Awesome. All right, well, I guess with this fish, this is going to close out the fishing portion of today's episode. It was a lot of fun coming down here by this wall and catching a few last minute drum and white bass just to kind of round out today's catch. Um, but what we're gonna do now, we're going to load all of our gear back up into the car. We're gonna head back to the house, see what Jay and Cypress are up to, and then we're gonna clean the fish and get them ready for the table. It's gonna be a good time. All right, we just made it back to the house and we are ready to clean our catch. Let's give you a look at one of these slab crappie before we cut them up. Look at that. Beautiful, perfect eaten sized white crappie. Excited to eat these guys. And I'm also excited to share with y'all a bit of news I just received. And that is that the Waterland Optics has just released a couple of brand new shades to their existing lineup and they have them now available on the website. Um, the series is called the Sobro and the Slaunch series. They look really cool. They have the same awesome uh, mirrored lenses that you see in all the other available uh, models and they just look really, really awesome. And as you have seen from us on the channel, we wear them all the time. Like literally every day we walk out of the house and the sun's shining and these glasses are on our face. It's really important to protect your eyes from the sun. And as an angler, it's really great to have some great uh, polarized lenses that you can look into the water and see what you're casting at. So definitely check those out. I have them linked below. And if you decide to pick up a pair of Waterland Optics, use our code CJ10 at checkout to save 10% off. Now let's uh, let's jump into this cleaning process. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be scaling these fish with El Spuno here, and then just cutting the head off. You know, it's very basic fish cleaning, and that's just what we're doing today because we don't have a whole bunch of fish here, um, and we've been wanting to eat them that way for a while. So let's get the fish laid out here. We got one, two, three amigos, and four amigos, and then we have our catfish. And we're actually going to fillet him. We're not going to cut him whole. So let's start with this guy. If you haven't seen this process done before, it's very, very easy. Like if you're new to fishing, new to cleaning fish, I would definitely recommend cleaning fish this way because you're not going to. There's no way you can mess this up. You just take a spoon and you rake the scales off um, from the tail towards the head. So let me do that real quick. Bigger the spoon, the better. It's a big spoon. It gets the scales off faster. I've also seen some crazy methods where guys will like nail. Um, like the tail of the fish to a board and they'll get a, a pressure washer and pressure wash all the scales off. I need to try that. It seems like a lot of extra work. Um, 
I mean, you can see how quick and easy this is, but it looks really cool. So let us know in the comment section if you'd like to see us uh, clean some fish with a pressure washer. That'd be pretty epic. Maybe we have a whole bunch of fish and we need to blow through them really fast. All right, just about got that guy all scaled up. This guy is cold. I didn't put that much ice on him, but he is really freezing cold. All right. And then whenever you cut the head off, you want to start here at their at their ventral region, their butt. And you're going to cut it at an angle. You see how I'm angle the knife like that? Just up to and around the head. And when you do that, you pretty much cut all the guts out. So you don't have to rake your finger in there. And you don't have to worry about getting any of it on your fish meat. So there's the head. We'll probably throw that in the garden here in a little bit. Pull the excess guts out. Don't want to scar y'all too much. And there you have it. The fish is done. Um, we'll throw it in this bowl of water here for now. And then what we'll do after we get all the rest of the fish cleaned up is we will take them over to the water hose and give them a good spraying. So yeah, so it's very easy, very basic, easy way to clean fish. If you haven't cleaned fish before, you're just not that good at it try this way. So we've got these last three crappie here and this catfish to clean. Once we get them done, we will get them ready for the dinner table. It's going to be good. All right, fellas, well, it is actually the next day now, but it is finally time for us to cook up our amazing catch from yesterday. We have a bowl here with the whole crappie as well as the catfish fillets, and it's time to get them breaded up and thrown into the hot grease. Um, in case you're wondering why we're doing this today instead of yesterday, it's because today I got up super early, like at 3 a.m. to go fish in a bass tournament. Haven't fished in a tournament in quite some time, and it was a pretty big one. There was 120 boats in the field, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but we did pretty well in it. And I filmed the whole adventure, so if you guys like tournament bass fishing videos or you've been wanting me or Jay to, you know, sign up for one, uh, this video will be for y'all. So I guess we'll post it, I guess, after this one. So stay on the lookout for that one. But anyways, um, let's jump into cooking these crappie and catfish. Now Jay is inside with baby C. He's in there sleeping, but I think they're going to come out here in just a moment, so we'll get to see what they're up to. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to fry the fish. We're going to first dunk the fish in this mix here of flour and seasoned fish mix. Then we are going to dunk said fish into this bowl. Let me see if I can show this to you without dumping it, <laughs> of whisked egg. And then we're gonna return it back to the flour and seasoned fish mix. And then we're gonna throw it in the deep fryer over yonder, over that way. So let's start by grabbing our fish. Let me tilt this down. It's kind of hard to do by myself. I need Jay out here to help me out. Tilt this down a little bit. Here we go. We got our seasoned fish mix here. We're gonna grab one of these delicious little whole crappie nuggets. There he is. Hims was swimming yesterday, and now he's about to be swimming in some hot grease. Let's shake him up. I'm just gonna show you how we're doing this just for demonstration purposes, and then I'll do the, all the rest of them off camera, I think. Anyway, so we got him shook up. Then what we'll do is we want these guys to be super crispy. If you could just throw this guy in the deep fryer like this, but he won't be as crispy and crunchy if you don't lather them up in some either like some buttermilk or some eggs or maybe dunk them in some water again. I don't really know. I like to use egg. So we're going to dunk him here in this bowl of egg. He was white and now he's yellow. Look at that. Got ourselves a yellow crappie, a rare species. Got him back in the bag. And in this bag, so I have like some fish fry, some flour, and then some extra spicy uh, Slappy Mama. Not the original Slappy Mama. I got the extra spicy one. So it's going to give this fish a lot of bold, good, cajun -y, delicious flavor. All right. So that guy is ready. I'm going to get the others um, battered up, and then we'll take them over, over there to the uh, deep fryer and give them a little grease bath. All right, we made our way over here to the fish frying station. Let's reach into the bag here. Let's grab ourselves one of our whole crappie. Look at how deeply breaded that guy is. It's super thick and crunchy. All right, even got the fins good. This should be plenty hot. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay, let's grab another one. We got four of these. I don't think I can fit all four in there. I'm gonna do like two at a time, just to be safe. Of course, I did grab the two biggest ones right there. <laughs> nice. All right, we'll let those guys cook. Those should be ready in about three or four minutes, and then we will take them there put them here. So it appears that my first batch of guys in here are ready. Let's take a look at them. Oh man, look at that. That turned out perfect. Got to love that. Sometimes that crunchy um, outer shell on the fish can fall apart in here. 
So that stayed on good. Look at that one there. Woohoo! That little egg yolkin batter helped us out right there. Okay, so we got two really good looking whole fried crappie right there. Let's get our next two done and let's get those catfish flies in there too. Oh, look who came to join <laughs> us. Say hello. Hello. Was hello. you sleeping in there? I was sleeping. Now you awake. You hungry? Oh yeah, this fish smells good. Doesn't it? it smells so good. Trevor said, I want some fish, but I ain't got no teeth. Mm, one day, buddy. <laughs> one, one day. day. <laughs> <laughs> Junior's over there lurking oh, in the background too. I think she's snipping it. Junebug, you smell that fishies? <laughs> <laughs> got it. Oh, look at him. Oh, he said I ain't got no teeth. I want fish now. <laughs> Take a look at this, guys. We have finally completed cooking up all of this fish. It looks amazing. It smells amazing. And I can't wait to see how it tastes. I am literally starving. I spent all day on the lake today and didn't eat much and also didn't drink much. Like, here's my Dr. Pepper. I literally, literally drank that much. And I feel like I'm having a hard time. Um, coming with words, I'm also really tired and just, I'm exhausted and I'm just excited to sit here and eat this fish. I'm not, now, I'm not sure if y'all heard or not, but little man Cypress was getting a little bit fussy out here, so Jay had to take him back inside. So I'm about to go join them in there, um, help her take care of him. Um, before I do, you know what we got to do? We got to do the taste test. This is not an official catch and cook video without a taste test. And it's been a while since we had some whole fish and maybe you haven't had whole fish before. So I'm going to show you guys how you would go about eating a fish like this. This one's actually really hot. So I'm gonna grab these uh, bigger, colder guys. So here is our fish. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna first remove the fins. Okay, because you know there's bones in here. You wanna eat around the bones. So first you're gonna pull the fins off. And if you want to, you can actually nibble on these guys. We'll give it a little snack. It's like eating a little crunchy, uh, fishy pota potato chip. It's not fishy though. It's great. It just tastes like the batter. We'll remove that fin. And so then what you have here, and you see there's like a little split, and that's where the uh, the backbone is. And all you'll really do is you'll just peel that meat off the backbone. And you'll see it, you can be a little bit more uh, fancy, a little more proper, just by peeling off the fork. But we're just gonna go in with our hands, grab a piece of meat off, oh, I dropped some, no. And we're just gonna go in and eat it. Here we go. That is bomb, that is so good. So good, like bone-in fish. You get a little bit of extra flavor. We're we'll grabbing another bite real quick. Just for y'all, I wish y'all were here, but I know that y'all are some talented anglers out there. Y'all can go out there, catch yourself some crappie, and do your own catch and cook just like this. This one's for y'all. Here we go. Mmm. Delicioso. That is so freaking great. But guys, I think this is where we're going to end today's episode. I just want to say a huge thank you to each and every one of y'all that took time out of your busy day to watch this video, to come down and hang out with me on the river, do some fishing, do some cleaning, and of course, do some cooking. That spot is an awesome place to fish, and I always enjoy going down there because I literally never know what I'm going to be hooking up with. Um, any given cast, I can hook up with the biggest river monster of my life. And then, of course, you could also hook up with these delicious crappie like we did today. Um, so folks, that's it for me. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, and of course, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. I'm Cole Harkin, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.